The night clog posit is back and right in time for the clog mule trend that we have seen in the most recent year. Every sneaker company at the moment is very hot on this trend. We have seen loads of variations of clogs and mules, but all Nike had to do was bring an old model back. They actually did release these back in the 2000s. Today we are going to be reviewing the latest drop of the Nike clog posit. I got this in the colorway black and as you can see it is fully black apart from the little chrome accent here that we have here. The Nike clog posit is basically a flight posit one that has been turned into a mule. As you can see we have no ankle collar and of course we have no laces as well. The flight posit was made for the basketball court and the clog posit was made for post game or in between games just something you can wear to chill in. It is interesting to know that this isn't actually the first revamp since they were originally released. Back in 2014 they did try to revamp them. They renamed them the solo slide but they didn't get the interest that they were expecting for so almost 10 years later we are here with another revamp and to be fair I would say that this is the right time as we do have the clog and mule trend in 2024 however we're gonna have a look and see whether this revamp is gonna be as successful as they are hoping for and to be fair to Nike this kind of clog mule silhouette is very on trend at the moment so basically if they don't do well this year then there's pretty much no hope for these now let's take a closer look a decade later and see whether these are going to be successful this time around taking a look at the design of the shoe it does have a futuristic silhouette it is a very sleek design it has an entire foam molded upper with a stretchy form fitting padding on the upper as it is a black colorway it's hard to see but there is two nike swooshes almost on top of each other on the two different materials we do also have a cut out mesh section on the inner side of the shoe for ventilation we have a chrome here on the lower side of the shoe that does roll over into the outsole in terms of the outsole there is very good traction which is great for a mule as generally in a mule you don't have a lot of support so you definitely need that traction for this colorway of black and chrome the black and chrome go really nicely together the contrast is really good however i do wish that there was more chrome on it because i feel like it would give the shoe a little bit more character i'm a really huge fan of this silver it's nice and shiny it does go with the futuristic look it really would have been nice to have some other chrome accents on the shoe because it is quite plain and quite simple i obviously understand that a part of the futuristic look but the chrome is also very futuristic so they could have just implemented some accents or designs at least around the shoe or possibly on the other side as well these came in at 130 pounds 140 dollars they are somewhere in between a sneaker and a slip on that is what a mule is however i would say that is quite a hefty price for something that isn't a sneaker because obviously for about 130 pounds you can pick up a nike trainer um, whereas for this you're literally getting half a trainer I think at first glance for me they looked better than they did as when I actually have them in hand and when I have them on foot which is quite disappointing I think they do have a really high price point as I said for what they actually are what has really helped this silhouette is recently they did a supreme collaboration and I feel like anything collaborated with supreme is gonna give the shoe sneaker a little bit of hype but even with that there are still plenty of mixed reviews online I saw some comments that said they look like water park shoes or ray-bans for your feet so I do think there are a lot of people that are more on the probably hater side of these. Nike are not stopping with the push for these as later on in the year they are releasing another colorway called the Green Goblin as well. So if these are something up your alley. In terms of sizing, these do run very, very snug because of the material used and also the silhouette of the design. I went true to size for these and they did fit, but I would have preferred a 0.5 size bigger. So my recommendation is to go up a 0.5 size. To be fair, they have a decent comfortability you know they're not the most comfortable shoes in the world but at the same time they are fairly comfortable theoretically these are black so they should be easy to style it's usually black trainers shoes whatever you want to call them are usually easier to style but i think because of the silhouette and how slim they are they're not something that you could probably wear every day for me i definitely think you have to think about the fit because of the slim design usually with clogs and mules i go for baggy trousers but i feel like these are too slim to wear with baggy trousers perhaps Perhaps maybe I would wear these more as a practical shoe instead of wearing them as a kind of fashion statement however saying that they do have a big price tag maybe if the price wasn't so high on these they would be a little bit more popular and people would be more likely to buy them from looking down they do actually look like boots for me I wouldn't recommend spending your hard-earned money 130 pounds 140 dollars on these unless you absolutely love them even if they were still half price it would I would still think twice about them maybe if they were like 40 pounds 50 dollars dollars then i would hit the button on them but for me i just don't think that these are worth the money however we do all have different fashion tastes and styles so let me know in the comments below whether any of you guys are 
creating these and please let me know if you have any other recommendations for clogs or mules thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to follow me on instagram if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one